So let's look at how to convert binary numbers into hexadecimal. And I have three examples here. The first step we want to do is we want to break up the binary number into groups of four bits. So with this first example, here's four bits, here's four bits, here's four bits, and we only have three bits left over. So what we want to do is we want to add a zero and we're gonna add zeros until we get a group of four. So in this case, we only need to add one zero. Next, what we want to do is look at this type of table right here. Now you can either construct it or you can have it. And this is going to show us the binary equivalent of every four bits to a hexadecimal number. So I'm just gonna start with the least significant bits. And we have a value of 1101. Well, 1101 is down here. A 1101 corresponds to a D. So here we get a D for those last four bits. We move along and we say, okay, a 1010, a 1010 is over here. So a 1010 is equal to an A. If we have a 1011, we look, 1011 is right here. And we get a B. Now we look at what a 0010 is. A 0010 is a hexadecimal 2. So we have 2 right here. So this binary number is equivalent to a binary uh, hexadecimal number of 2BAD. Too bad. Okay, let's look at the next one. We're going to follow the same steps. We're going to break this up into groups of four uh, bits. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and we're left with 4, so we don't need to add any numbers to it. When we look at a 1, 1, 1110, 1110 is right here. So this is an E. We have a 1101, a 1101, 1101 is a D right here. We have a 0000, zero, zero, zero. a 0000 zero, zero, zero is a hex zero. And a 1100 is a C. So this is C O D E, code. Finally, let's look at the last example. Again, what we want to do is break this up into four bits. So we have four bits here, we have four bits here, we have four bits here. We have four bits here, and uh, our last one is four bits, so we don't need to add any zeros. Now, we're going to want to look at a 1101. A 1101 is a D. A 1110 is an E. A 1101, well, we just did that. But if we look at the table, it's a D. A 1101 is a D. It's the same that we just did. And a 1010 is 1010 is an A. So this says added. So this binary number is the same as a hexadecimal A, D, D, A, a, D, D, E, D. And these are just, uh, this is how you convert the binary number to a hexadecimal equivalent. And these are just cool examples that have sayings or words.